Hey everyone, welcome back to the PageFly tutorial course. Uh, in the previous video, we were just replicating this Harry's About Us page. Okay, so we had five sections that we'd put in. Uh, first thing we're going to do, make sure that our page is saved. Okay, there we go. We don't want to lose all our progress, of course. And then let's just start building it. So I had already mentioned that I'm using this uh, Colorzilla uh, Chrome extension. First thing I'm going to do is color the background of this first section. Okay, so if I click on the extension and then click on the section, I've automatically got the color copied here. So I just want to go back to my page editor, select the section, then in the element inspector on the right, I want to find styling and background, and then I'm just going to paste that color code in the background. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to simply copy the heading, select my heading element, and go to general, and paste that there. Okay. I want to make that heading one. It is the, the main heading at the top of the page. Okay. Then we need to color the text, uh, the color of the text and the font, of course. So we we're going to use Leto. It's the closest that we have that's stock with what Harry's has here. They're using Brandon Grotesque, unfortunately unavailable through PageFlight this time. Okay, Leto, the size. Yeah, we'll, we'll mess around with the size a little bit, but first let's just choose white as the color. Okay, there we are. Now we have to change the dimensions here for sure. Excuse me. We created Harry's to be different. Okay. So we just want to select after to be, put a space, and then after shaving companies right there. Okay. They've got some padding on the top and the bottom. So we'll grab our dimensions extension. Uh, it's about 90, 80 to 90 pixels. But a word of advice with PageFly, um, I'm going to use the, uh, a percentage rather than a number of pixels because it will make it more easily responsive on uh, mobile. So instead of having to adjust the pixels on both your desktop and mobile display, uh, if you use a percentage, it will automatically sense that. Okay, so let's try just uh, 5%. Okay, that looks actually pretty good. And on the bottom, let's see, is that too much? It's okay, maybe we'll go and we'll drop it just a tiny bit. Maybe even at three. Okay, I have to, I'm happy with 3% there. Okay. Yeah, maybe four on the top. So what I'm doing here, I just selected the entire section. You can always tell in the bottom left um, what you have selected, okay? section i'm in the styling tab on the element inspector and i'm going to box styles and i'm just adjusting the padding okay so don't, don't get confused between margin and padding margin would add uh, an extra space above this padding just adds extra space within within the section okay so we're happy with that for the next section I'll show you a little trick on how to save images if they're like this. As you can see, I click here. I can't save the image as, but I can inspect it. So I'm going to right click, go down to inspect. Okay, then I can just do here, click select an element by clicking on it. And I click on this background image and I'll see a URL on the right here. If I double click that, and let me just uh, okay it's being difficult <laughs> bear with me here okay there we go got it sorry it's a little tough to grab I just want to highlight the URL if I copy that paste it I will actually see that image just pop up as its own URL, and then I can save image as from there. 
Okay, so I've already done that for the three images on this page that we'll need. So if you want to pause the video now and go ahead and do that, that's fine, but I'll resume. Okay, so here I want the second section selected. Remember the entire section because this is a background image. I'm going to go to background in the styling tab. Image, where is Harry's? Here we go. I've got various images from Harry saved here from different pages. So I'll find that big background image that we had. <clears throat> Wait for that to go in. As you can see, it came in huge and we can't see the entire image. So I'm just going to go size, cover. Okay. And then I'm going to make sure my position is center, center. Okay. Then, we, then we're going to adjust the padding of the section so the entire uh, image is visible. But first, I'll just put in my heading. That heading two and my paragraph quickly because we're going to have to play with the, the padding and everything on that too. Okay, there we are. We want Leto, Leto font. Okay, looks like the line spacing for the paragraph is a little bit bigger too, 1.5. Okay, there we go. Let's select the section again and make sure that that entire image is uh, going to be visible. Okay, so section selected. Now I'm going to add padding. I'm going to start with 10%. See how that looks? So you can see it's not enough. So just go up from there. 20. Let's see how theirs looks. So I've got some space above the actual razor blade here. 25. Yeah, it's looking like even more. So it's quite a large image. I'm going to go with 30%. Uh, that'll do it. Okay. That looks good. Make sure that that is centered. It is centered. It is covered. Okay. Let's see. Now let's adjust um, the shape of our uh, of our row of our columns here. Sorry, I'm just thinking while I'm speaking here. Uh, I'm going to select the section again. See if we can't get that. Yeah, that's going to make it huge. Is it that big on Harry's page? Okay, so it actually does cover the entire visible area. So that might be okay. Let's try 20 and 20. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now you can see, we can see right down. Yeah, okay. So we can see above the razor blade and we can see down to his uh, ring finger there. Okay, so we have 20%, 20% padding on the entire section. And that's conveniently centered our text. As you can see, we're just going to play with the padding a little bit here. I can actually, a quick shortcut is to go into the row and, and wait until these two arrows pop up. I can actually just shrink that and make that a little smaller on that side. Okay, it should adjust. Let me see. And thoughtfully, maybe a little bit bigger line spacing. Let's see how that looks. And of course, we, we may need to just make sure that each line is the same length. But you would do that just by looking at their page and then pressing enter or return there. And that would, that would do it correctly. Okay. So, but we won't go too far into the little nitpicky things like that. We just want to get most of the content and then allow you to... Uh, play around with the alignment and the, and the padding and everything. So you start getting used to how to do that. Okay. Let's have a look. The next one. So first we'll put in our image, which is the two gentlemen with the shaving cream. Okay. We want that. Let's see. Select the row. Uh, yeah, okay. So we want the gutter to be zero. Okay. That'll make sure it's touching the very top. Then I'm going to select the section. 
Oh, and disable the max width. Okay. As you can see, that was in. So I selected the section. In general, I disabled the max width. Okay. A lot of times in web design, they like things to be uh, more centered they, and they want to leave some white space or colored space on the right or left. In this case, Harry's didn't do that. So I've disabled the max width. Okay. And then we can see there's just a slight margin on the top and bottom, which we can get rid of. I'm still with my section highlighted here. Uh, no padding. So we want zero padding on the top, zero padding on the bottom. Okay. We've got that touching.